Today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Saturday, June 10, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link to our Patreon in the description and comments section below. New York Mets vs Pittsburgh Pirates. The New York Mets are currently in fourth place in the National League East, trailing the first place Atlanta Braves by 9.5 games, five behind the second place Marlins, and 1.5 games behind the third place Phillies. Being four games under .500 is a massive disappointment after 64 games for a team expected to be a contender in the National League. The Mets are going through tough times after dropping their seventh straight game on Friday 14-7 to the Pirates, in a game that was not even as close at the final score. As bad as things have gone for the Mets, the current losing streak won't last forever still. If I am going to lay any juice in this spot, it's going to be on the Pirates to at least stay within a run before I trust the Mets to win. Both starting pitchers are tough to trust in this spot, and the New York bullpen has been awful during their current skid. The Mets are just 8-16 against the run line as a road favorite this season. Take the Pirates plus 1.5 runs. The Pirates are tied for first in the NL Central, after the Brewers were upset by the A's on Friday. Kevin Hayes had a huge game on Friday, going 5 for 5 with 4 RBI and 3 runs scored. Jack Sawinski went 3 for 4 with a home run and 2 RBI. Pittsburgh has now won 7 of its last 10 games and will send Johan Oviedo to the mound Saturday. Oviedo is 3 to 4 with a 4.29 ERA overall this season and 2 2 with a 4.04 ERA at home. When a video starts, the team is 6 6 overall. Our total pick is over 9 runs. Oakland Athletics vs. Milwaukee Brewers. Oakland started Sam Mole on Friday as the opener, but it was Luis Medina who carried the load by going five innings, with six strikeouts and two earned runs, to get the win for the A's. Medina ended up getting his first MLB win for Oakland, who has now won three straight games. Estery Ruiz led the way with two hits and one run scored, as well as an RBI. Outfielder Ramon Laurino added two RBIs and two hits including a triple. I just can't see laying a lot with a pitcher who has just two starts this season and was lingering around in the minors earlier this season. Confidence and momentum are great intangibles for a team that has had nothing to get excited about. Blackburn is not just some scrub starter that Oakland has rolled out nearly every night. He also could eventually be used as trade bait if he can pitch decently. When you face the Brewers, it's not like you're looking at a stacked lineup. Blackburn should have his way. Our team pick is Oakland. Milwaukee was heading into this Oakland series off a tough loss to Baltimore at home, 6-3, where they blew a late 3-0 lead. They did wind up taking the series 2-1 and won 5 of 6 games. But on Friday, they were shocked by Oakland at home, allowing 4 runs in the first 2 innings. It was a rough start for Adrian Hauser, who walked 4 and allowed 5 runs in 4 innings. The offense was held to just 4 hits against a mostly bullpen game for Oakland. Owner Miller led the way with 2 hits and 2 steals. Our total pick is under. Oakland Athletics vs Milwaukee Brewers. Oakland started Sam Mole on Friday as the opener, but it was Luis Medina who carried the load by going five innings, with six strikeouts and two earned runs, to get the win for the A's. Medina ended up getting his first MLB win for Oakland, who has now won three straight games. Estery Ruiz led the way with two hits and one run scored, as well as an RBI. Outfielder Ramon Laurino added two RBIs and two hits including a triple. I just can't see laying a lot with a pitcher who has just two starts this season and was lingering around in the minors earlier this season. Confidence and momentum are great intangibles for a team that has had nothing to get excited about. Blackburn is not just some scrub starter that Oakland has rolled out nearly every night. He also could eventually be used as trade bait if he can pitch decently. When you face the Brewers, it's not like you're looking at a stacked lineup. Blackburn should have his way. Our team pick is Oakland. Milwaukee was heading into this Oakland series off a tough loss to Baltimore at home, 6-3, where they blew a late 3-0 lead. They did wind up taking the series 2-1 and won 5 of 6 games. But on Friday, they were shocked by Oakland at home, allowing 4 runs in the first 2 innings. It was a rough start for Adrian Hauser, who walked 4 and allowed 5 runs in 4 innings. The offense was held to just 4 hits against a mostly bullpen game for Oakland. Owner Miller led the way with 2 hits and 2 steals. Our total pick is under. Washington Nationals vs Atlanta Braves. Washington had Thursday's game postponed, so they headed into Friday's opener, losers of four straight and seven of their last nine. The Nationals entered Friday 25-36 on the season and were in the basement of the NL East, 12.5 games behind the Braves for the top spot. 
On Wednesday night, Washington finished with seven hits as Joey Menezes and Dominic Smith each had two to lead the way. The Nationals went just one for five with runners in scoring position in the loss. Patrick Corbin, 4-6, took the loss on the mound as he allowed three runs on 11 hits with one walk and four strikeouts over six innings of work. The Braves have a prodigious lineup that is loaded with power, as the five homers they slugged in Thursday's win would attest to. With that said, Atlanta has struggled when it comes to keeping their opponents from putting runs on the board at Truist Park this season, and that could be a problem here. Shuster is prone to issuing free passes, which can get him in hot water. We saw him struggle against Washington in his first outing against them this season. Sure, some of that can be chalked up to nerves, but his control issues have persisted. Gore has acquitted himself well in his two career outings against the Braves. The Nationals should be able to put up some runs, and that gives them a puncher's chance here. Look for Washington to take advantage of a fatigued Atlanta bullpen to earn the win here. Our team pick is Washington Nationals. Atlanta ran their win streak to five games as they rallied two down the Mets in extra innings at home Thursday night in a game that was expected to be a pitcher's duel, only to devolve into a slugfest. The Braves entered Friday 38-24 on the season and held a 3.5-game lead over the Marlins in the NL East. On Thursday night, Atlanta finished with 19 hits as Austin Riley, 3 runs, 2 RBI, led the way with 4. Travis Derno, 4 runs, 2 RBI, and Orlando Arsha, run, 2 RBI, each had 3. Marcel Azuna, his 12th, Riley, his 11th, Derno, his 2nd, Arsha, his 5th, and Ozzy Albies, his 14th, each went deep in the victory. Spencer Strider didn't factor in the decision as he threw four innings, allowing eight runs on eight hits with two walks and eight strikeouts. Raisel Iglesias, 2-2, earned the win in relief as he threw a scoreless tenth inning, allowing no hits or walks while striking out two. Our total pick is over 9.5 runs. Houston Astros vs Cleveland Guardians in a season defined by injuries offensively, losing Jordan Alvarez may be rock-bottom injury-wise for this Astros team. Alvarez is such a good hitter that he finished third in MVP voting last season and was another strong contender this year, although he's primarily a DH. Houston entered this series 14th in runs per game, with a low walk rate, 25th in MLB, and OBP, 21st. Losing Alvarez in the heart of the order strips protection from the rest of the lineup. This Houston team, which entered this series on a three-game losing streak thanks to little offense, hasn't had a full-strength batting order yet. It's better that this happens now than in October, but they have to get there first. Houston's offense entered this series cold, with five runs scored in the three preceding games. They also lost their biggest and most dangerous bat, Jordan Alvarez. Cleveland's offense has been one of the worst all season, but they're showing signs of life lately. The Guardians also have Tristan McKenzie back, and his first start was everything they dreamed of. McKenzie has succeeded against the Astros in the past, and Cleveland has an elite group of relievers behind him. Pitching leads the way in a Cleveland home win. Our team pick is Cleveland Guardians. With wins in four of their last five entering the series, the Guardians found themselves 1.5 games behind the Twins for first place, even at 29-33. Last year's Al Central champions could be finding their groove in a division that's fortunately wide open. Their bats, which are 28th in runs per game, appeared to find life right before this series began too. They put up 10 runs to conclude a series against Boston, led by Jose Ramirez's three home runs. The Guardians still have the fewest homers in baseball, a corresponding 29th ranked slugging percentage, and a walk rate that's 24th in baseball. However, Jose Ramirez is one of the league's best hitters and is capable of carrying this team for a decent stretch of games. Will his bat stay hot? The under has hit in five of the previous six games played at Progressive Field, so go with under eight runs in this game.